in this video we are going to discuss about tautological implication first let's see what is tautological implication let we have a two statements called a and b a statement a is said to be tautologically imply a statement b if and only if a implies b is a tautology we know about what is a tautology tautology means if the final column produces all the truth values as true, then it is called as tautology. If the result uh, for all the truth values is true, then it is called as tautology. The name itself specifies the meaning, tautological implication. Here we have a two statements called A and B. If A implication B is a tautology, then we can say that A is tautologically implied to B. So the name itself specifies the meaning, tautological implication. So A implication B is tautology. A implication B is tautology. So if A implication B is tautology, then we can say that A is tautologically implied to B. Let us solve these two examples. The first example is P and P implies Q. Uh, uh, here it is denoted by, tautological implication is denoted by is equal to uh, greater than right angle bracket which is read as A implies B this is not a connective here we have uh, two connectives like uh, implication connective that is uh, this is implication connective and we have uh, biconditional connective so biconditional connective is represented with the help of uh, like this or we can represent like this also that is biconditional uh, uh, connective here uh, uh, tautological implication means it contains only right angle bracket here we don't have uh, left angle bracket. So this is not a connective. This symbol is not a connective like uh, uh, biconditional and conditional. This is not a connective. So tautological implication is denoted by this symbol. Okay. So here we have uh, A and B. So this is called as A. This is called as A. Tautological implication is denoted by this symbol and this is called as B. If A implies B is tautology, then we can say that uh, this LHS is uh, tautological implied to RHS. This A is uh, tautologically implied to this B. P and P implies Q is tautologically implied to Q. So let us calculate this one. Here we have two prepositions are there. So the number of possible combinations are four combinations. So true, 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 false, false, true, false, false. So first we have to calculate P implies Q. So we know what is P implies Q. When P is true, Q is false, the result is false. Otherwise the result is true. So when P is true, Q is false, the result is false. In remaining three cases, the result is true. Next, we have to compute and operation. So P and P implies Q. So we have to perform and operation on the first column and third column. We know about and operator. When both are true, the result is true. Otherwise, the result is false. So true, true means true. True, false, false. So true, true means true. True, false, false. False, true, false. False, true, false. So with this, A is calculated. LHS is calculated. Now we have to uh, now now we have to see what is RHS. Here RHS means Q. Already we have Q column. So now we can compute A implies B. Let it. Uh, this is nothing but A. So what is A? P and P implies Q. Uh, implies. What is B? B means this Q. So we have to perform implication on this uh, one, two, three, this fourth column as well as second column, this fourth column and second column. We know about implication. When the when P is true and Q is false, the result is false. Otherwise, the result is true. So true, true means true only. False, false means true only. False, true means true only. False, false means true only. So here the last column contains all twos. So we can say that uh, here it is tautology. So we can say that this LHS P and P implies Q is tautologically implied to Q. So likewise, let us solve one more example. So P implies Q and Q implies R implies P implies R. So P implies, so let us erase this one. So this is, uh, here we have three propositions are there. So this is somewhat uh, uh, bigger problem. Why? Because we will get uh, two power three combinations. Okay. P implies Q. P implies Q and Q implies R implies P implies R. Okay. 
implies uh, so this is tautologically incorrect here we have this symbol so what is lhs so this portion is nothing but lhs this portion is nothing but rhs so this is called as a this is called as b so if a implies b is tautology then we can say that this a is uh, tautological implied to b so here we have three propositions are there so p q r so totally we will get two power three combinations so eight combinations okay so here we know the notation one two four so first one is seven so r two six true true false five so true true uh, false uh, next so first one is here we are using uh, uh, four to one notation why because uh, uh, three possible values are there p q r so we will get two power three combinations eight combinations so eight means here the maximum digit is seven minimum digit is uh, uh, zero so seven means four plus two plus one all twos six means four plus two two t false next to five means four plus five so t false two the next one is four four means t false false so next one is three so three means true true false so next one is uh, one uh, two so two means false true false next one is one so one means false false true last one is zero so if you observe if you observe the first column so the first four are true values the next four are false values if you observe the second column first two are true next to two are false next to two are true next two are false if you observe the last column true false true false true false true false okay so likewise you will get okay uh, next we have to compute p implies q q implies r next one p implies q and q implies r next one p implies r next one uh, p implies q and q, q implies r r o p implies r okay so first let us compute p implies q so when p is true q is false the result is false so this is p this is q so true true means true 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 means true true false means false true false means false false true means true false true means true false false means true false false means true so next we have to compute q implies r q implies r so second column third column so true true means true true false means false false true means true false false means true 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 means true true false means false true false means false false true means true false false means true so next we have to compute p implies q and uh, q implies r okay so that is nothing but a okay so let it uh, let it is a so what is a now we have to compute and operation on these two so true true means true true false means false false true means false false true means false true true means true true false means false true true means true 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 means true so a is calculated next let us compute b what is b p implies r so first column third column so true true means true true false means false true true means true true false means false next false true means true false false means true false true means true false false means true okay so true 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 false false true false false okay remaining are true only okay so a is calculated b is calculated let us compute a implies b so here what is a a means this portion b means this portion p implies r so let us compute this one so true true means true false false means true false true means true false false means true 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 means true false true means true 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 so final column contains all trues so we can say that uh, this is a tautology so we can say that this a this p implies q and q implies r is tautologically implied to p implies r